Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we're here with Mike. We're at Willwood Brakes right now. Yes, the Willwood Brakes that you hear probably in 99% of our videos. So, all right, so we're gonna dig in. This is your Willwood test mule, right? This is a car that got built six years ago now. Gosh. And it took about a year and a half, two years to get done. So 65 or six? It's a 66. Okay. And a cool thing about it is it's a T-code car. Oh, really? So you know what that is. Yeah. Why don't you explain to them what a T-code so is? So I learned this from Gary Patterson at Shelby. We gave him a chance to drive the car one day and he came up to it. And the first thing he did is he came up and he saw the T-code and he goes, oh, this is the right car to do this to. And I was like, what do you, because I'm not a Mustang guy. Okay. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, this is a straight six, four lug, like this was the secretary's car, yep. right? So one of the things that was really hot when we first built it was this. The Coyote was like the newest and greatest. So this, this engine, and it, and it had the factory transmission, I don't know what that was, but it had the factory transmission that was with it, and it came out of a, a car that had like 7,500 miles on it, Okay. 2012. Nothing done to it. It was a wrecked car. We, we took the engine trans out. Then we started fitting it in here. Well, of course, these had to come Shock out. Shock tower's got to go. When one of our really good customers, total cost involved, um, I reached out to Sal over there and I said, hey, wh what are you guys doing? Because you're doing a lot of your IFS suspension stuff now. And he said, just so happens, we have the Mustang now. So we ended up putting a complete TCI chassis under it. So that's what's in this car. Great. And that's kind of, as you can see, what you got to do when you're putting that Coyote in these. Oh yeah, it's, it's not a small motor. I mean, it's it, that's a that's a big beast to deal with. Yeah. So as of today, like when we go drive this, it's slightly tuned, but it's bone stock. Oh really? Oh yeah, it's just a turnkey, simple car. And the owner, Bill Wood, his first whole idea was, I want this car to look like a Mustang. Because we were like, we're going to make this thing look like a big old IMSA thing. It's going to be badass. Right. He's like, negative. Yeah. And this yeah, thing yeah. is stupid simple to work on. Great. It's so clean in here. I mean, it's so, so simple, but everything, you know, everything's here. Now, is it is it caged throughout the car? Yes. It is a fully caged car. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So we reached out to a bunch of other companies like Chris Alston and got a lot of the cage mm -hmm. from him. So I, I see the ride tech, so your ride tech all the yep. way around, fully adjustable. You've obviously, you've done flares here, yeah? So the front end is a Meyer Racing front end fiberglass. Got it, okay. And it has a two inch flare on it. Okay, yep. And remember, the owner, Bill, he's like, I want it to look like a Mustang. Which it still does, but Absolutely. you ain't getting a tire under this car if it's stock, you're no. just not. And the rear's not been with tubbed. The stance. Yeah, the rear's been tubbed, so yep. they're actually tubs from Detroit Speed, like probably one of the first sets that they really did. Got it. And then this is a carbon fiber three inch flare. It was molded in and the body shop did that. Yeah. This car is, I feel, kind of fits right into that whole pro touring because it really is a car that you can get in and drive to the track, drive it home, you have air conditioning. It's got a Tremec in it. Okay. Um, yeah, it's got a T56 Magnum. Okay. And you put that thing in overdrive, it's 75 miles an hour, and it's like 12. RPM. I don't even think it's that much. Really? I think with the gearing <laughs> in this thing, it's probably down to 12 or 15. Wow. It got just it. puts, just yeah. cruises along. Nice. I love the stance on it. I mean, you guys got this sucker sitting down, you know? The rear is 315. Nice. The front is 275. Nice. I want to say it's a 10 in the rear and an eight and a half in the front. Mm -hmm. Um, this car from day one has had Falcon tires on it. This is the kind of crap I love seeing. All these little nicks and stuff everywhere where and you know, the car looks great, you know what I mean? But it's not a show car, it's a driver oh. car and that matters, I think, you know? No, and I know exactly when all these things happened. I'll bet. And check this out. This is like, somebody went to go get fuel. Bang. And they didn't use, I always use a towel underneath that and they just bunk. Sure, makes it. <laughs> Yep. You know, it's a tool. And and this car really has become a tool for Willwood. So yeah. you're gonna notice 
when you get up closer that the front has a red caliper on it and the rear's got our old nickel calipers yeah. on it, Quicksilver caliper. Yeah. It used to have nickel on it. Well, we made some different changes on the brakes. Um, we're doing, not even testing anymore, but it's a new lug drive system in the front where the hat and rotor are connected with a, with a spring clip, with an internal spring. There's no nuts and bolts. Awesome. Well, let's, I wanna, let's go around this side. I wanna see what you've done on the interior. Yeah, go for it. I mean, the first thing I see is the race seats, which I love to see that it's, again, like total driver car, you know, it's not, it's not a trick plush Euro inspired interior. No. I mean, these are still stock panels. It had like a 330 wheel on it, a pretty small steering wheel. Mm -hmm. And we recently got with NRG and put a 380, I believe. Oh my God, this car is like night and day to drive. It's oh, so God. much better. And just everything in here is set up. I mean, your, your screen here to give you all your info. Cool. Well, dude, let's close this thing up and, and let's take it out into the beautiful California sunshine all and right. go for a cruise. Sounds good to me, man. Awesome. We're going to go for a drive, you guys. Pedal's really set up nice, real easy to heel toe it, isn't it? Yeah, and that new pedal assembly is fully adjustable for and the is pedal that your, That's Willwood pedals? It is. Those are, they are manual brakes. Oh yeah. Oh, God, I love manual brakes so much. So right about there, just plow on it. I just want the, I don't want to lose those guys. <laughs> God, this thing just drives great, man. Right? I want to take it for a weekend. <laughs> God, I, love, I just, what a great driver car. I mean, going easy on it, like you said, it's just, uh, you can cruise around and kind of daily drive it, you know, but then... A lot of car there. <laughs> I love being in the car with a driver, dude. I instantly turn into a little kid. Brakes work. It's such a funny thing. Power to weight is everything. Oh my god. This car, what does this thing weigh? Do you know 32, the weight? 3245. Really? That's god, it. It feels like a lighter car. I'm glad I got my harnesses on. <laughs> I swear, I, I turned into a little kid, dude. I just love it so much. It's so fun to me.
All right, you guys, stick around. We're about to show you some of our favorite Mustangs we've shot in recent times. Hope you guys had fun in this episode. What a blast to get to drive the Willwood Mustang and hang out with these guys. It was just a really cool day. Hope you guys had fun with us. As always, a big thanks for hanging and watching and supporting what we do. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode. All right, man, later.